Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. It's Polyester here. And just when I thought I didn't have to worry about the identity of the killer or the identity of the survivor because we're going to find out on May 29th when the public test build goes live, Krill sent me this image on Twitter and said, Hey, doesn't this look like the new survivor? And I said, Yeah, what is that? And Krill said, That's um, an early concept for Meg. And I'm like, Oh my gosh, you're right. And then Krill sent me... Um, a wallpaper for Dead by Daylight went back like when the game came out this promotional wallpaper that they had and said look it's the same person and I'm like oh my gosh this is like early Meg concept and it looks just like the survivor that we see here at the campfire playing the guitar in the off the beaten track uh, teaser and now I'm my head spinning so I'm like could it be that this is actually a different cosmetic version for Meg at the campfire and she has this guitar playing ability that we didn't know about? Or did they just revisit a concept for Meg and translate that into this new survivor, whoever it is? Am I so blinded by Kate Denson that I didn't even look any further? Like, look, I even have this mouse pad. This is my mouse pad here with the early Meg right on it. And I completely missed the uh, the the similarity, like right down to the the wristband is on this Meg right here. The wristband's there, and the tattooed sleeve. So I don't know what to think now. I guess we're gonna find out in five days. But the, the mind blown. I'm like, oh, it's a, it's early Meg. But I kind of think that they just took that version of Meg and decided to apply those characteristics to this new character. Um, because you even see in some versions of this wallpaper that Meg loses all of her tattoos, and <laughs> the look on her face goes from one of like, oh, this guy's going to die, to some concern of, well, we got to help this guy. <laughs> she goes for the, the facial expression. I didn't even know this one existed where she lost her tattoos. The facial expressions side by side are just really funny to me. When you see the one face like, damn, this guy's screwed. Or, oh my gosh, we got to help this guy. Just cracks me up. So we'll see what happens. Could it be more cosmetics for Kate? Like, a, And then after I started looking into this a little further and I saw these rows of concept art that they had for Meg. Did I just say Kate? I have Kate on the brain. I don't know what's going on. These, uh, these concept arts that they have for Meg, which maybe some of these are going to end up in the cosmetic shop, especially this one here in the lower left, or these blue hair Megs. Those look pretty cool. I can see this one here in the bottom left being the concept that they go for where it's going to be pay only. We'll see what happens. But uh, I we don't have that long to wait, so I'm not going to stress out about it too much. But I did think it was interesting, and I appreciate Krill sending me this image on Twitter to... Uh, get my mind working on it so what do you guys think it's got to be the new survivor right it, it has to be the new survivor that can't be a, a, mer a version of meg at the campfire it just has to has to be the new survivor even if they want to just like stab me in the heart and not call this character kate denson and a lot of people are really wondering what this guitar has to do with the chapter at all if it is in any way going to be related to the survivor is her musicality going to be somehow introduced into the perks that she has in the game like um rhythm or uh, timing she's going to be good at rhythm and timing um good dexterity in her fingers because she can play guitar we'll have to see what happens but oh gosh i'm i'm just so glad we don't have to wait much longer to find out and i can't wait to make videos for you guys i may i may even live stream it i don't know we'll have to see what goes on that day of all the new cosmetics for the killers, the survivor, and of course, we're going to showcase the new map, new killer, and new survivor in game. All right, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching, as always. Thanks for all your love and support, and all of the uh, the commentary you give me in the, the comment section and the feedback we get on Twitter and stuff like that. I really appreciate it. Thanks to everybody who's turning out for the live streams um, here on YouTube and on Twitch. I know some people who just want to sit and watch the 15-minute videos, they probably look at the channel and see an alert, and they're like, oh, there's like a five-hour video. I, Jeez, I, I can't watch that, which I completely understand. That's there for people who just want to pop in and out and watch a bit of the live stream. And they are archived. I don't know if I should delete them after they're done or not. 
I haven't decided, but it's just something we're trying out with the multi-stream on Twitch and on YouTube. So, thanks for all your support. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you next time. Kate! Bye-bye. <laughs>